What's up guys? We are out here today and we are gonna show you guys how to clutch bump. So you should already be able to circle your bike in handbrake because we're gonna be doing clutch bump handbrake skills today. It's a little different with foot brake because your brake isn't under your clutch finger, but we're gonna work on clutch bumping with handbrake. You should be able to circle slow with clutch bumping. The eventual goal of it is being able to transfer from trick to trick or um, like reset your bike. So right now, I'm not exactly clutch bumping to go to another trick. Right now, I'm doing it so I don't put my foot down or I don't drop the bike or if it's gonna stall, clutch bump. Um, so I use it as a reset. And then I'll get to transferring it to tricks at some point, but we're gonna show you guys how to do it and why. So let's get to it. If you're doing circles and you want to know how to clutch bump, you already know that you have a clutch on top and a handbrake on bottom. So pointer fingers on the clutch, middle fingers on the handbrake. When you're doing these circles, right, you're doing your basic circles and you want to learn how to clutch bump. What you're going to do is, if you look right here, as you're in your circle, you're going to bring your bike a little bit farther back. You're going to squeeze your clutch in and use your brake at the same time. So you're stalling the bike, stopping it from flipping backwards. And then as the bike comes back forward, because you hit the brake, you're gonna release the clutch and release the brake and get back on the gas. But that's the end goal. The end goal is to be able to be in the circle wheelie, clutch in, use your brake, and then clutch back out and stay in the circle. You wanna go step by step. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, it's hard to know if you're ready for clutch mumping. Cause I learned it on a Grom. It was scary for me at first. A lot of people don't learn it on the Grom. Um, but you're gonna to want to be circling and you're gonna take your one foot that's on the seat or in the hole and you're gonna take your other foot, plant it back onto the floor and pull the clutch in. If you cannot pull the clutch in and stop your bike in a circle, don't try clutch bumping. So we're gonna do that first. We're gonna, we're gonna go in a circle and slowly bring it back, pull the clutch in, and then from there you can stand and put the bike down. That's step one. You want to be able to be comfortable in your circle, come back, squeeze your clutch in, and stand off of the motorcycle and just be able to hold it up. Pretty much learn how to park your bike. Get comfortable with that. Do it a bunch of times so you're comfortable with pulling your clutch in while in the circle and stepping off the bike. Step two, you're gonna be you're gonna want to come around doing the circle again, drop back, pull your clutch and your brake in, and let the bike fall back forward on the two wheels. And you don't have to worry about giving it gas to come down easy. Yep. If you slam down, that's fine. Don't even worry about the gas right now. So it's gonna look just like this. Clutch in, down. There you go. So that right there is step two. Step two is just doing your basic circle, coming back, pulling your clutch in, hitting your brake, at the same time and letting the bike come back down onto two wheels. <laughs> so it's super hard to kind of tell Alec to do it, how a new person would do it, but I have recently learned it. So when you're pulling in the clutch and hitting the brake and you're coming down onto two wheels, what's most likely is gonna happen is you're gonna lose your balance and you're gonna like tip to one side because he knows when he comes down, he's gonna give it a little gas to ride away. It's tough at first when it's like, your blood's pumping and you're learning something new. So you're probably gonna pull the clutch in, land on two wheels and like pop off to the side. Um, Cause you're, you're holding your handbrake so your, your tire's gonna be locked up. So um, step one, we're gonna pull back and park it. Step two, we're gonna pull in the clutch and the brake come down on two wheels. And then step three is we're gonna pull in the clutch, hit the handbrake. We're gonna use step two. And before the bike comes too low from hitting the brake, so we're gonna be back clutch, brake, it's gonna come down a little bit. You're gonna clutch out and the littlest bit of gas. Boop. And it's gonna bring you back to where you gotta go. Yep. So at first, try a tiny bit of gas. If you don't give it enough gas, put it down, try again. A little more gas, because the last thing you wanna do is clutch bump and give it all the beans and just go flying. Then you're never gonna wanna clutch bump again. Don't do that. So start off easy, that's what we always tell people, no matter what it is, clutch bumps, wheelies, anything. Start off easy and build from there, so. I'm going to show you what it looks like when you're doing a clutch bump and you come too low before you let out the clutch and give it gas. 
the bike's just gonna kind of pull away. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like first and then I'm gonna show you the correct way to do it. So I know when we teach people how to wheelie, we say it's all one motion. Now clutch bumping is two separate motions. So as you're coming back, it's clutch and brake. As you're coming forward, gas. So it's clutch, brake, gas. It's not all at once. It's clutch, brake, gas. Back and forth, back and forth. So you'll figure it out. It takes some time. So practice and go easy and you'll get it. So. So the end goal of clutch bumps is obviously to be able to reset the bike when, when it feels like it wants to dip too tight or high side, but most importantly is to be able to transition to tricks and it feels safer and it looks cooler too. So <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys a couple just little tricks like how I would use the clutch bump to get to things. Like yes. say Ralph Lowy circles or Frogger circles or this isn't my bike and there's like no air in this tire, but that's all right. <laughs> extra momentum to push himself into tricks. Yeah, exactly. So it makes it a little easier to move around when you have the bike's weight pulling you up. So when you saw I did like that foot tap to Frogger, I used that brake jam, that clutch bump, and it gave me the like that trampoline spring to get up there easy. Yep. That's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. Clutch bumps are easy. Um, just be careful work on them. All right, so that's it for how to clutch bump. We're gonna go over the steps real quick. So one, we're gonna come back, pull the clutch in, stall, come down. Step two, we're gonna pull the clutch in, hit the brake, and come down on two wheels. And step three, we're gonna pull the clutch in, hit the brake, and come out of it with the gas. Nice and easy, and work up to like actually going into the circle if you don't get it your first try, but you guys got this. It's not as hard as it looks, just a lot of commitment at first, but you got it. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you guys want to support. Grab some merch. Teamlevelup.shop. We got a bunch of new merch coming out uh, in the next couple of weeks. So head over to the website, grab some merch, support us. Um, yeah, and good luck with the clutch bumps. Peace. <laughs>